Hey yo, what is up YouTube? It is your boy Joker850X. Now, I recently got this comment um, from a guy named Jeremy McCoy. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. Now he asks, bro, they need to give our character created our character cre our, our, our created characters, time patrollers, a new transformation. Simply because in DBZ Super, Super Saiyan God Blue Goku was struggling with Zamasu, but Super Saiyan 3 can keep up with a deity. There, there on there makes no sense to me at all. Can you make a video explaining this? <clears throat> Alright, so Jeremy, here here's the deal with that. Now, Super Saiyan 3 Goku actually could not keep up with a deity, and I believe you're referring to Beerus. He Beerus actually fodderized Super Saiyan 3 when Goku tried to pull that. I mean, if Super Saiyan 3 Goku was barely a match for Kid Boo or, or, or Super Boo, why would he even be remotely close to the um, the same level as a god? And it has been stated before that Goku or Vegeta will never pass Beerus in strength thus far. I don't know if that's been updated since then, but in the past, Kiri Toriyama said he wasn't going to allow them to actually catch up to him in strength. So that's already out the window. Um, I, I feel where you're coming from with our characters need a new um, transformation, so to speak. But here's the issue with that. that. That requires a lot of time and effort for Namco Bandai to put into a game. And honestly, I don't believe they are going to do that. For the simple fact, it, it would be very time consuming to make a new transformation for literally every race in the game. Because if you give Saiyan something, you got to give everybody else something. And I mean, they're not like Final Fantasy or or any of these other big games where they go all out with um, different abilities that different characters and classes get. So... I feel where you're coming from, but we, I can put it like this, it's, we're not going to get that. At least not in this game. Maybe in some future game, once we get more transformations for different races from Dragon Ball Super, but they're not going to put anything into the game that's not in the series thus far. And um, like I said, I feel where you're coming from, but I I don't see it happening. Now, to this pretty much resolve your issue with um, Zamasu and all that, well, for the record, Goku could actually beat Zamasu, and Vegeta could actually beat Black. They both were holding back. That's one thing. Um, Zamasu couldn't actually be killed because he was immortal. Um, that's another issue. And, um, yeah, when they fused, it took Super Saiyan Blue Vegito to beat them. Well, not beat them, but, um actually damage him because he was so OP after that point but it took Zamas or not Zamas ah, Zeno Zeno it took Zeno to actually defeat him for the simple fact that he had transcended from a level far above any of the guys except for Zeno Zeno so the only person left I mean was to call him to actually erase him from existence versus um just you know killing him off or knocking him out or what have you so that, that's the whole deal with that. Uh, I didn't want to make this video too long because it, it's probably just a misunderstanding on your part from that battle. But Vegito, Vegito, Vegeta, after they came back, I think the third, third or fourth time, he could have easily took out um, Black. But Vegeta being Vegeta and the heroes being there, been our typical heroes, they, yeah, I'm not sure what the fuck Vegeta was thinking. But yeah, man, um, if this video helped you out, comment, tell me what you think. And this video was a request from Jeremy McCoy. And as always, hope you guys enjoy the content, and I'll see you guys um, on the next one. I got another video coming out this week. This was just a request that I was doing. So yeah, it's your boy Joker, your 5 x and we're out to the next one. Peace out.